Welcome back to another episode of the Ark Survival Guide. Today we are going to dive into the perilous Redwood Forest and uh, we're finishing up this Parasair tank to make it a fully functional battle fortress with all the amenities of our other base. So uh, this should be a pretty exciting and I uh, can't wait to see just how well this tank holds up in the Redwoods. Welcome back. So uh, here we are back on the beach. We have just completed the walls of this uh, Pariser tank. And uh, if you don't know how we got up to this point, be sure to watch the last couple episodes. We go through step by step how to build this entire fortress. And uh, we basically are building a base coming down from the back of this Pariser and we are completely enclosing the entire dino so she is totally impervious from attacks. So the only gap that we had that uh, dinosaurs could get through from the top was this little area along the ramp. So since we still have some, uh, some structure limits, you know, structures available here, we're not hitting the structure limit yet, so we'll go ahead and uh, extend these down and fill up the rest of this gap so that we don't have anything landing on top of this base and climbing inside from there. So I had to pop back in and craft some more stuff. And we now have a forge that I'd like to add to this Pariser tank because we actually are probably going to run into a lot of metal while we're out here. And I always like to set up a forge where it's nearby to the storage bins. And this way we'll actually be able to open up this entire wall, since these are all huge dinosaur gateways. And uh, that way we'll just be able to toss metal in from the outside. And I'm also going to set up a smithy in here. Now, in a couple levels we'll actually be able to make a saddle for the beaver if we contain one in there. That's one of the main reasons I want to enter the redwoods, is so we can see if we can actually tame a beaver, which will work a lot like the dodicarus. And I think we have one more level to go before we can make the saddle for it. And that saddle will actually function as a smithy. It's basically a mobile smithy. But I think I'm going to want a smithy before that so we can craft stuff in this base because I'm not sure exactly how long it's going to take to go through the redwood forest. So I've added a thatch ceiling sticking off the back since you can't build walls down from a foundation. And we're actually building these walls down from the thatch ceiling that's sitting there. And that should work nicely. It was a lot easier to get that to snap from the bottom than from the top. So now you can see this is a completely enclosed base. There's some tiny little holes here. We might still get attacked by flying ants or dragonflies or things like that. But we should be completely safe from all the bigger dinosaurs. And I'm going to add a mortar and pestle here too. That should be all the main structures we're going to need for quite a while. We could eventually add a fabricator, but for now I'm going to just kind of do the basics so that we'll have all the stuff we need while we're in the redwoods. I've also picked up a lot of fertilizer from our dung beetle factory. If you missed that, we have a whole episode about taming dung beetles and how to get fertilizer from them. And as you can see, we have a lot of fertilizer. That's going to be just almost unlimited ammunition for these turrets we're growing. So I'll demolish that thatch ceiling there. And now we have all the materials we need set up to keep those walls safe. We've got two turrets that are fully functional and grown up. These are Plant Species X turrets. And uh, the other two are growing nicely, and they're in pretty good shape. Uh, they'll hopefully be maturing while we're in the redwoods and give us twice the firepower. We've also positioned these a little better, so they should be able to hit things more easily. So that should just about do it for now to uh, get our base in, in line. So I'm going to bring my pteranodon into the forest with us. One of the main reasons I'm taking this whole base in here is because I want to tame a pretty good uh, beaver, and it's going to be incredibly helpful for us to have that beaver, but if I can actually keep that pteranodon in this base with me, we'll be able to fly back to the raft and grab some vegetables to use to tame the beaver. But since we don't have enough materials for a refrigerator yet, there's really no point in trying to bring the vegetables with us because they'll spoil long before we get to where the beavers are. 
So, yeah, um, I'm using the whistle commands, which is on the PS4. It's L1 and up on the D-pad, or the directional pad. And that will actually tell my dinosaur where to go. So as you can see, I'm not even riding her right now. And the whole base is just walking. I don't know if anybody's seen Howl's Moving Castle from uh, Studio Ghibli. Great movie, but uh, this reminds me a lot of that. So we're just stomping along here. Uh, when I'm running out of stamina, I'm hopping out and standing on the base and telling her to walk forward. And as long as she's not completely out of stamina, she'll still walk at her normal walking speed, even uh, while recharging her stamina while I'm standing on top of her. And then while I'm riding her, in order to recharge the stamina, she's got to be sitting completely still for a while. So we can go a lot faster using that little trick. It's not perfect, but it works. So while we're here, I'm going to grab some more materials. We, uh, I don't know if you remember, but on the way up the coast here to get to this area, we just, just completely leveled a couple of entire forests to get all the wood that we needed to build this base. And we used a crazy trick for the Dodicarus in order to gather just a couple thousand stone in no time. So that's where we got the materials to build this base. But after doing everything here, we are completely out. I don't even have any wood left. So I'm going to have to gather some. But the good news is this is the best place to get wood in the entire game. These redwoods are just full of wood. You can get probably five or six times as much wood from each redwood tree as you would from uh, you know any other normal trees out in other places in the world. So you can see right here, uh, my Pariser is actually really good for gathering thatch. She also gathers any berries that are in the area. So she's pretty much smashing everything nearby. Uh, I think I see a bear. So we're on the very outskirts of the redwoods, but they are incredibly dangerous. And there's all kinds of animals that will just destroy you in here. So I'm going to try to get my pteranodon inside if possible. Now, one of the big things I'm worried about in here is um, there's things that are kind of like a big tiger, panther type thing, really big cats. And they will sit on the side of a tree, halfway up the tree. You'll never notice them there. And all of a sudden, they will just pounce out of the tree and land on top of you, especially if you're flying on a pteranodon. You end up stunned, your dinosaur gets pounced, you oftentimes will just straight up die and there's nothing you can do, you can't even move. So I'm trying not to keep my pteranodon on top of this base. In a lot of areas, it would be totally safe to just let him sit on the top without any extra protection. But in here, it's not really safe. He could easily get taken down by one of those guys. They're called Fico Leos, something like that. And uh, so I'm really worried about those guys. So what I'm doing here is I'm using the materials I just gathered to build a little platform in the back, right up next to this guy's butt. Hopefully, uh, you know, it won't smell too bad for my pteranodon. But um, we're going to get him to sit up on this little platform. If I stuck him on the floor inside the space, he would be totally safe. But anytime we clip into the ground, like as you can see right here, we've actually got dirt coming through the floor. And every time the pteranodon touches the dirt, he'll actually sit on that instead of my base and pass right through the walls and then just be sitting outside on the ground. So I want to keep him up high off the ground so that we can just keep going and he will just be carried along safely up on top of that upper platform. And what I'm doing here is actually just reducing the weight of these materials. We grabbed a lot more than I thought and uh, you can see how fast you can get wood in here. So I'm gonna have to chop this down. Oh, whoa, 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 hey, I know you're friendly there, but watch your head. This is a metal hatchet and it's sharp. Come on, don't be stupid here. As they say on The Office, Dwight, don't be an idiot. Changed my life. All right, so I've got this tree in the way. It's blocking the door and blocking this from moving forward. There we go. Okay. Hopefully I didn't hurt my uh, Pariser too much. Looks like her health is all right. So she's a, she's a pretty tough girl. But, uh, you know, I'm sure that doesn't, uh, doesn't do anything good for our relationship if I hit her on the head with a hatchet. So I'll try to avoid that in the future. She's always sticking her head up through the floor there. It's terrible. So I do have to be really careful of her weight. Uh, you can see the weight icon on the top right. Oh, it looks like we are fighting a bear. Okay, that's cool. And it is down really fast. 
I'm actually running this in uh, one and a half times speed just because it takes so long to walk through here. But uh, yeah, so I think we'll end the video here and uh, tune in next time. We will explore the rest of these redwoods. Thanks so much for watching our video from the Ark Survival Guide. This is an amazing game, and it's sometimes really hard to learn how to survive, but uh, we are dedicated to teaching you how to not just survive, but how to thrive and have lots of fun on this amazing game. So we have a series for uh, just a let's play so you can watch how we've conquered this uh, vast open world. And we also have a guide series with specific guides on how to do certain things that are a little bit more confusing or difficult on this game. So be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We are constantly creating new videos for you to enjoy. So uh, you can travel through your journey on ARC with us and learn how to do everything you need to know to survive in this game. So thanks for watching and we will continue to bring you great great content that is suitable for the entire family, except maybe the occasional dinosaur poop. What can you do? This is Ark. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon on the next video.